Hello guys, welcome to Tech Tips. In this video, I will show you how to install Android Studio completely offline. So let's get started. So these are the files. I have provided the download link uh, to download these files. So please download the file and then proceed. So the first thing is uh, you have to install Java and then go to program files and then create a new directory Android and then create a new directory Android Studio right. so now uh, extract go to this one and then right click open the archive and then extract this to somewhere on your computer once the extraction is completed you need to move all these files from this directory to the android studio directory created and then move to this android studio directory second step is uh, open this one user operator so go to run and then open c users your username add data local and then android sdk so if you don't find a folder android go ahead and create a new folder android and then make a new folder SDK. So now extract all these files from this archive to this folder. So copy this part and then extract, paste that part, click OK. So it's take a pretty long time, so please be waited. And the third step is. So now the SDK is extracted to this uh, directory. So close this out. And the third step is uh, open this SDK routine. And right click SDK.xmg. Open archive. And then extract to the same directory. Just paste it and click OK. Click No to all. And the fourth step is like this open this one and right click open archive and then extract to C users and the username your username click OK click OK note to all for you it will never ask any replacement as um, you are installing this or doing this process in a new system you will never get any replace so now all the archives were extracted so close everything out and then open C C directory and hover over to program files android and that studio bin and studio 64 just either send to desktop or create a shortcut on your taskbar and close everything out and now open up your uh, android studio and wait a while so 
all screen loading as it's being your first time it takes uh, much time So here is our result. So now let's try to start a new Android project. Select this. Okay. Now I enter the application name for my sake. Let everything be default. And here set your path. Let me put this in here. here choose your uh, uh, platform for which uh, apps has to be created and uh, click next here choose the bank activity fragment or either bank activity click next click finish if you take if your uh, computer takes more time to finish this pro process you we need to upgrade your uh, ram because this android studio uh, uses much memory so now this uh, application is being built up by this studio allow access <coughs> so now we've got this window but the program is still building something so please be waited Yes, so we got this uh, result finally. And how about to Java app here? Java double tap this main activity, and now let's try to run this program. As it's for the first time, it takes a pretty long time. So please be waited for this one. Here you can see that the upgrader executing task at the at the bottom. So now we have here uh, got this uh, choose the device wizard. Uh, here by default, uh, once you have extracted uh, all those files properly, here you will get this uh, this uh, name HPC device because this is my phone. Uh, click OK. So now the emulator is booted up. Uh, as like always, it's taking uh, too much of time for booting for the first time. And once it is done, I will be back soon. Perfect. Now I got my application running on this uh, emulator properly. Uh, so now we have successfully set up our Android Studio. Uh, Android Studio takes a pretty long time when it runs for the first time only. So if you keep on working with this it will be pretty easy for you and in case if you face a more slow down uh, on your uh, computer you need to upgrade your uh, ram uh, only then it will be fine for you so that's it thank you for watching and hope you guys like this video visit my channel for more uh, stuffs and th thank you for watching see you guys in my next video